Good morning, everybody. Dar Sizzle and Puddings over here coming into the camera, but we're Florida Fishing Couple. If you're new to the channel, today we are on our flat boat, and I'm actually getting rigged up here looking for a jig. But I we got some live shrimp at the local tackle shop this morning, went to our home waters, and we're just gonna see like what is going on out here. I, we haven't fished out here in about a couple weeks. It is a beautiful morning. I'm a little on the chilly side, but uh, I'm just gonna finish up tying my leader. And then I've got this little strip jig you can see here, or sometimes they call that a yellowtail jig. I put different assortments already on, different colors on different rods already, as well as different size jig heads. Just gonna try to see what works, but I like to get my spread evened out. And the current is just starting to move, so it's better to get rigged up now before the action begins. Yeah, we haven't been fishing in a couple of weeks out here, so we're just as excited as you are to get out here and see what happens, but uh, open some snook jacks, something to eat. I'd like to get something to eat today. That would be nice. Would Water be is extremely high, like into the parking lots. A full moon in two days. And we kind of like that because the more water moving, the better for the fishing and fish like water moving. So we're going to, I don't know, we're going to see. I'm not going to get my hopes up, don't jinx it. But. Yeah, and we'll start with some really light leaders, 20, 20 pound to get some bites. Yeah. And uh, that's this deal. Yeah, you got 20 pound and 30 on another one, but I'm all set up. There's my pink jig head. And I got my white, so now I'm interchangeable. Well, all right, guys, we were coming. We didn't catch any fish over there, but we saw some bunch of mullet jumping right here. Darcy got a brand new net out. It's the first time throwing it, I think. Yeah, it is. <laughs> she just, just unwrapped it, literally. Literally, just cut off the tags. <laughs> I had to replace it after a bull shark destroyed my last net. Oh, that's right. I mean, she, you threw one of these bait and there's a freaking bull shark in there over in the Sebastian. Six foot bull shark. Was, <laughs> of course, I had another camera on, but it was ridiculous. He was feeding on mullet. <laughs> I go through a cast net once a year, basically. That's yeah, not too bad. Oh, that's All right, let's, oh yeah, let's do it. Up. Fish blowing them up. Right on that point. Looks like little jacks or something. 20 foot, here they are. Keep going. Should have nailed them. Eh, not bad. very many. They came out in three foot of water. That's, yeah. that's how fast they are. I mean, the, the sun's coming up. I got a big, big shadow. I might jump out of this boat. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Oh, these are fine though. We don't, you know, these are good. Yeah, the mullet run is over here. So they're kind of scattered. So that when the net's cooled up real good, it's hard to get them in this fast. You, you want to let me out? Got them. That's enough. Little school right there. Yeah, you go to the good dozen. Got like 18. a good dozen, maybe dozen and a half there, but that's more than enough. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was a good one. Darn it. <laughs> that was a really good one. Yeah, we are surrounded by blast straggler mullet of the mullet run. Got out of the boat. The best part is I didn't have to take off my boots. That was awesome. You're dropping them everywhere, you googan. It's all right. My, hand, my, my net is filthy. Mullet are very hardy. They'll be okay. We don't need that many, like we said. Oh my God, I just fed a crab a mullet. It went right down his hole. <laughs> I mean, we're not gonna throw again, right? No. I'm good. All right, we're doing some trolling. And I just saw my big bait, the X-Wrap, bent over and I honestly thought it was stuck on something on the bottom. Picked it up and there's a fish on, so we weren't filming unfortunately. He's underneath this line. I don't know if we're going to need a net. Nice jack. You don't really ever catch jacks on these X-Wraps. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Flip him. Jump to a lumper. Fuck yeah. Look at that lure, y'all. <clears throat> that is the X-Wrap from Rapala. And we always pull a large lure to get down deep, especially when we have moving current like this and just super high water. And that's the first jack I've ever caught, or nice jack on this big old X-Wrap in the uh, hothead color. Yeah, now just in the last video, we were going fishing out and I said, we never leave home without this lure. Yeah. And so far that's the only fish, only fish we've, well, today is the first fish, but yeah, first fish of the day, baby. Nice. Nice fish. Nice crab bait, crab bait fish. Yes. Should be letting him go, but I'm not going to. He's too big. He's too big to let go. <laughs> I need bait. 
That's the repellent. What kind of the hothead color you hot said, head. Right? Yeah, Yes. So. X-Rap 30. This will be in the Amazon store. Link down below if you guys are interested in any of the stuff that we fish. All right. There we go. All right. Nice. We broke off the skunk with that beautiful Jack Creval. Just want to quickly tell you guys, holidays are here. I sound like a broken record. I'm so sorry. If you want to support my small business, we have awesome. First off, beautiful sterling silver nautical pendants on the website. I'm wearing the sea turtle, which is selling like hotcakes, running out of those quickly if you're interested, but all kinds of fish hooks and anchors, fish hook and anchor bracelets, 2023 Garces little calendars, uh, autographs, eight by 10 pictures, keychains, performance apparel that Puddin's wearing on camera, I'm wearing on camera. Actually, I'm sorry, we only have men's stuff, but please check it out, guys. I'm gonna link that information down below. And uh, yeah, this guy was caught on that hothead color, like I said, and I'll also have the Amazon store down below if you're interested in the stuff we're fishing. All right, nice job, to Sizzle. Yeah, we're just trolling to another spot in the wake zone, like we always tell you guys. Always be trolling, always be trolling. What do I got? I don't even know. Oh my God, it's a pompano. It's a what? Oh, it's a sheep's head. No. Ah, yeah. I don't know if it's gonna keep. That was cool. Shrimp on a jig, baby. Light tackle. Oh my gosh. Nice. That we got dinner. It's gonna be close. Right? They gotta be 12? I don't even know. I'll check. Nice. Shrimp on a jig just casting right on a rock pile right in front of us. We saw some fish blowing up on it on our way cruising north. And so we figured we'd stop on it. And I just caught dinner. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna check again. Pretty fish. We got something. This is hooked up. Yeah. What do you got? What do I got? You got a jet? I have no idea. Interesting bite. I've got the drag really light right now, but. Oh my gosh. It's a freaking huge, huge croaker or redfish. If it's a redfish, I'm gonna eat I my shirt. I need you to get maybe the net. Look, look, look. It's a redfish. No, it's not. Get the net. No, it's not. I don't know. He's got a blue tail, baby. He's gorgeous. It's a big croaker. It's a redfish. It's awful red for a croaker, I'll tell you that. It's a redfish. It's a gorgeous redfish. It's a keeper, can, too. No, I don't think we can keep them. Oh my gosh. Nice job. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just got a Lake Worth Lagoon redfish. Look how sick that is. Look at the blue tail. That it's... is very exciting. Very, very exciting to catch a gorgeous fish like this in our lagoon. You have to go two hours north of here easy to get on reg redfish regularly. So this is a very exciting catch for our home waters. Shrimp on a jig, baby. Doesn't the way he was fighting and stuff too, was sick. That hook set is just perfect. Oh man, gorgeous fish. So you're saying we can't keep fish in this area. I have to double check. I don't think you can because they, they have some new regulations. It might just be Martin County. It might not extend down here. Can they, ask me they, the there's all kinds of zones and stuff right now yeah. for it, so we got to I'll check. put them in the well real quick, and we're, of course, either way, I want to get a couple quick pictures with this beautiful fish. And whether or not I get to keep them, you know, it doesn't really matter because I don't really get to catch redfish, and he's got the one perfect spot on his tail. So Go pretty. pretty. Get, get in the sun more That for is me. awesome. That is so awesome. Pretty Sick. fish. And he put up a really nice fight on that light tackle. That was fun. That's how you do it. It looked like a croaker, and then I was just like, no. He, I saw the blue tail, and the blue is from the crustaceans they eat. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, I, I got a good shot of it before. Really pretty. Gorgeous fish. Sick, baby. All right, I'll put them in the well real quick, and then we're going to look up regulations. Yeah. Why don't you measure them real quick? Let him go. Let's do it on the hair club cooler. Hair club cooler. I don't want to hurt him. They usually be 18 to 27 or something yes. like that. He's 19. Yeah, he's 19. Just under 19. Yeah. Oh, pretty fish. Sick. Gorgeous. Do you see that? Yeah. Too bad you didn't have your camera on. Totally missed them. Get your bait right back out there. They took him, I think. No, he's he on took here. your bait Jesus, again? I don't know how he's on here. No. Yo, you're on, you're on. All right. Oh! oh. How did you pull him off? I, you know, he's not big enough. To, that was a huge spl fl flash right here. Whatever that was on your bait, I saw him. Put your jacks around. Starting to light up around here. Water, oh! Water starts to move. 
I don't know if you guys saw that. I might have been blocking it. <laughs> yeah. My big butt. You're on? Yeah, I'm on. You gotta okay. give him a second to bite it because some of these jacks aren't huge. Whoa, it's stuck! Nice! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, look at all the fish following it! Holy smokes! I'm kind of the man. I'm gonna loosen my drag a little till Darcy gets the net, which I'm standing on. That's a nice snook. Keep that rod down. Oh, he's oh off. Oh my god. How oh. are you losing every fish? They're not swallowing. I got my hook. Jeez, that was all a right. pile of snook following him. 20 of them. I think I'm on. What is that? Oh my god, a snook. A <laughs> snook. Nice. Snook on a jig. Shrimp on a jig. Come here, buddy. Woo! Did a little jump right there. This is pretty cool. Catching a lot of species in one spot. Yeah, if you guys don't know this area, this is the Snook Islands. This is actually an artificial reef system that they put out here a couple several years ago. But when there's some current here, man, you can catch some fish here. It gets real shallow, so it's great for kayaks. Brian got a Goliath grouper back here. Yeah, last video I got a Goliath back here, a little one. And then we even caught a, uh, er, or we've seen big tarpon back here. Haven't hooked one yet. There you go. Yay! Nice little snook. Awesome. Sweet. All right, I can pop that real quick. We just I got like it. Are we drifting? Yes. I anchored. Oh, it doesn't look anchored. We're getting super close here. Okay, can you can you fix it for me on this on the thing behind me? Or anchored or not anchored? I'm not sure. Right, hit the hit the anchor. Somebody, I must have hit it. Hit the anchor right here. All right, All right I move. got it. We gotta get out of here. That's no, we're too close. Okay, put us back in position. Hold on, give me a second with this fish and get out of your way. Check it out. You can't see the thing. Nice little twenty-inch snook. Gonna let him go. That's a nice release. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. Shark here, I guess I got the move. Yes, I just spotted a predator. <laughs> All right, stuck him in that live well for a few minutes there. Brian looked it up and it looks to be like we're allowed to keep redfish in our area. Well, we are allowed to keep red drum in our area. <laughs> Uh, we would, you know, we have to be obey the rules at all times and follow regulations. Let's do it on a real ruler here to the zero, which is right there. And you can see this fish is basically 19 inches long. Pinch the tail, total length. Totally. And so in our area, uh, affected September 1st, there's a bunch of redfish zones now. And in our area, we are allowed to keep our fish between 18 and 27 inches long. So 19 inch redfish, a keeper. And that's my second ever redfish right here in my home waters. So very rare. We've been out here many, many days. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, I, I don't know how to tell you how unexpected or rare this is. We've been fishing here for 10 years. Yeah. In this area. And it's really so overgrown. And I always complain about how terrible it is and all the seagrass is dead. And this is the first redfish we've caught. Keeper. Well, ever. the first keeper ever even seen. Yeah. And we caught one well, like a little baby by accident like five years ago. Yes. But this is really crazy for us so it does show that things can improve yeah all right so it's awesome so awesome very unexpected rare catch can't wait to eat them so pretty and you know i, I might not normally catch this fish because it's so rare or keep this fish because it's so rare around here but you know this is also our jobs and one fish every 10 years honestly this is like <laughs> we've never we may be eaten a dozen red fish in our lives like we not don't even that many. catch that many i don't many. think that many so I literally yeah. think like four. It's a keeper and I'm allowed to keep it. And I like to eat fish, guys. <laughs> this, That's it. This is literally the third redfish we've ever That's kept. It. We've ever caught ourselves and kept, I think. Two in Stewart and this one. No, I'm counting like overall, like, over time, fishing with other people and folks. We've caught redfish, but like yeah. over the last 10 years of us doing this fishing, we've only eaten like a dozen. I'm not kidding. I don't think a dozen. Not even. I think this one, two in Stewart, one with um, our buddy real estate charters and one in Louisiana. That's literally like five or six. Yeah. Little tackle time, because I know you guys like this detailed information, what I'm fishing today and catching most of the fish on, is this Akuma Combo. Uh, the, for the reel, this is an Akuma Azores 4000 spinning rod. I really like it, it actually casts really far, and that is spooled with 20 pound braid as the main line. 
and then the rod or the combo that is attached to the rod is a Kuma SRT Elite Inshore Spinning Rod, which is awesome as well. It's got a nice action to the tip when I cast, and I just I like it. I like the whole setup. And then um, to my braid, I basically have about four to five foot, thirty pound leader. This is should be twenty. I'm fishing twenty on some other rods, but this is thirty. And then you can see that I have tied with just a standard. Um, loop knot. Uh, I like to do loop knot on those yellowtail jigs or the um, j shrimp jigs is what you can call them. But you can see that one is weighted, has a little bit more weight to it because we have current. And this is what I'm fishing. This is a live shrimp. I've already cut him in half and it's pretty simple. But what I like to do is take this tiny little jig and run it through the meat portion of the back of his body and then work it up into the head as far as I can go like so and then push the jig in and fish it just like that. And then that way, cutting it lets the scent into the water and I think the fish can find it easier and uh, just kind of bounce it on the bottom. And that's literally how I caught that redfish, sheep's head, snook, all that good stuff. All right, let's cast it back out. We're in a new area. Not much luck here, but that's why it's called fishing. We're gonna move on. Excellent job, Dusters. I'll tell you guys what I'm using. I like these a lot of bait casters in shore. And today I've been using this, uh, go the jack on it, I think. This, this is a Komodo, a Kumo Komodo. Darcy's sponsored by Kumo, of course. It's actually on a custom rod from uh, Peter Barrett. If you guys are out there catching sharks or anything like that, Peter Barrett is the man with the cotton of custom rods. And uh, I use an FG knot on my BCs. Oh, that's yours. That's really it, that's the gist of it. Oh, and I usually use, she uses, she cuts that strip in half, and uses a tiny piece. That's and, yours. Yeah, and I use, I'll just show you, she just pulled it up. And I use a full shrimp on there, just to do something different, but she catches way more <laughs> on the little shrimp. She she catches, you won't believe the size of the fish she catches on that, right, Dar Sizzle? Yeah. Like uh, tarpon, the yeah, monster, the biggest no, snook you ever saw in your life. Brian caught an eight pound Cabrera snapper on his Eight pound his Cabrera snapper on that? Yeah. That her rig, of course, my rig definitely catches any fish. With my rig, a lot of times they just get bit off. The shrimp I don't just know, gets pulled off. I don't know, it's the has the best unexpected catch ever in Boynton. He might put the B-roll here of us screaming when we caught an eight, an eight pound giant Kubera snapper in shore. It was ridiculous. But again, we had another <laughs> unexpected catch today. It's like a really special day. The yeah. guys are being nice to us. I think, you know, I think one thing about fishing is, you know, you gotta you got know what you're doing a little bit, but the more you're out here, the more, the more you're gonna catch. Unexpected rare <laughs> catch. All right guys, we're back at the house. It's actually the next day because we got home and I literally just sat down at the computer and worked on orders, getting everything shipped out. Still got a lot to go, so if you order something, just bear with me here. All right, but let's dive in to the di let's dive in to cleaning my very first Lake Worth Lagoon redfish, and it's really a prized fish to me and super rare for my area. So let's just do this. We're using my six-inch Darcissel custom curd fillet knife designed by me, and you guys have seen me use this a lot if you're a regular on the channel. But I'll link this information down below. But don't forget about my promo code. You see all those thick scales on that redfish. Don't forget about my promo code, Darcizzle15, where you could get an awesome deal on these knives. We got the, set, the six inch and the eight inch curved fillet knife. And we're just going right down the back, but you can see that the sharp knife is just cutting right through those scales and it's getting stuck on the blade. But it's cool to see the di different, different, the different ways like fish are shaped and different kind of scales they have. And you know, redfish are living right up on those rocks and close to oyster beds and all that good stuff. So they need a lot of protection and a lot of scales. And this fish, we're almost done here. And I'll show you what I mean. Because Puddin has a great idea of cutting this fish, or cooking this fish in the house. And I'm so excited. It's been a minute since I've had a delicious redfish. All right, leaving those innards intact. And then we're just gonna slab that right off. And that fish is done. We're gonna leave it on the health shell just like so. I'm not even gonna worry about cutting those pin bones out. We can eat around those, but that is gonna be a tasty morsel right there. Half shell means leaving the skin on. So that's what we're exactly what we're going to do. That side is done. Let's flip it over, do the same exact thing on the other side. Boom, quick and easy. We're done with that beautiful fish. That carcass is gonna go in one of my stone crab traps and hopefully we catch a really big crab that wants to eat a delicious redfish. And we got our two half shells, we're ready to cook. So let's take those in the house with the cooking with pudding portion of this video. What's up guys, welcome to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. Today we're gonna do a half shell redfish on the grill. Let's go prepare the fish. All right, so you still got the fish here 
And I melted some butter. You could also do this with olive oil. We're just gonna put this on here nice. Lather it up, you can always add more. Not the biggest fish in the whole world, but for Boynton, this is the biggest <laughs> red fish you ever did see. Nice. La -da 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 -da. Very nice. Darcy is, of course, doing all your orders, so it's gonna be mostly me doing all this cooking, which is, I guess that's always what happens. There we go. Now I'll cut some nice tomatoes. I gotta have an acid for everything. I just use Darcy's knives for everything, pretty much. I don't even know how I wipe this off if they should fillet the fish, but whatever. Boom. All right, let's go. All right, we got the barbecue all heated up. On this side, at least. Slapped us right on here. Now we just did it on a half shell, so we got these nice firm thing we can cook. Nice firm skin and scales we can cook on. Boom, boom. Put our acid on top. Boom, awesome. Look at that. All right. All right, it's been about eight minutes. I'm gonna test it, check it. This one needs a little cooking, definitely. This one, I both a little bit more. Oh, I don't know. Let's take a look. Very, very close. Oh, it's very hot. Oh my lord, that one is just melting in my mouth. Just gonna move it off the heat, let this one cook a little bit. All right, I got the sizzle here. I'm here. She's been working on her orders. You literally just said, come out, come eat. <laughs> no, because I'm working, how, yeah. How are the orders coming along? Going good, not as fast as Brian would like, but it's going good. <laughs> I'm getting orders out, that's what matters. So people can reorder if they want. Yes. So they'll get them before Christmas. Exactly. And we got the calendars in. Yes, calendars are here. Nice. Stocked up on those. Yeah, the house is just full of shipping supplies. It's crazy, so. But it's a good thing, you guys are keeping me busy and I appreciate the support, like I constantly mentioned. This is yours. <laughs> All right. Yummy. This looks yummy too. It smells good. Yeah, it's good. My sense of smell is coming back finally. Smell taste, it. smell, whatever. Let's dive, let's dive right into this one for the taste test and then okay. we'll eat and get back to it. Are you handing me the plate? I mean, no, I'm gonna hold the plate for you because oh. I'm a gentleman. I'm gonna hold the plate okay, for you. Okay, give me a bite. Fork. Give me a bite. All right. Yeah, look, it just really. Oh, it's very hot. No, it's not good. What? No. That's hot, dude. I gotta blow up my food. I forgot. I, you know, I have that superpower where I don't feel heat. Mm. We haven't done this manner in so long, but the fish just comes out so moist. What's the matter, Sizzle? Is that moist and delicious? It is, but he gave me like a bite, like right in the middle of where the pin bones were. I should have cut, cut those out. It's all right. That is very succulent. It's delicious. Super moist. Cooking it this way always makes it keeps it super mm. moist. Just super tasty. It's really good. And the second we've been live, Brian ate the whole thing. It's literally gone. Literally gone. <laughs> that was amazing. Let me put it down. All, all right, right, you guys are salty to eat a whole meal. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> Him. Him. And I'll tell our next one. Follow, follow your, your dreams. dreams. And keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers. Ooh. Mm. I need more redfish. 